Hi, I'm Enzo, an engineer on the SDK team at Definity. Today, we'll walk through our quick start tutorial, and I'll show you how easy it is to build your first web application on the internet computer. Let's get started. First, verify that you have installed the latest version of the SDK. You can do this by running dfx dash dash version. Since our quick start tutorial also calls for building a user interface, be sure that you also have the latest version of Node.js. You can do this by running node dash dash version. Now that we've satisfied the necessary prerequisites, we can generate our first web application by running dfx new hello. This will create a project in the current working directory called hello that contains the relevant uh, DFX and Node.js configuration files, together with the relevant Matoko and JavaScript source files that are required for building this application. This application, when built, will provide us with a fully functional web application running in our web browser that will greet a user by their name. Next, cd into the hello directory and go ahead and run DFX start. This will start a local internet compute replica within the current project directory. Now, pop over to another tab. From inside the hello directory, and with the internet compute replica running in the background, we can now go ahead and create our canisters using the command dfx canister create dash dash all. This will create two canisters for us, one called hello to function as the backend, the other one called Hello Assets, which will serve the front end or user interface for our application. Now we can go ahead and build these canisters using the command dfx build. Now that the canisters have been built, they're ready to be installed on the internet computer. We can install them using the command dfx canister install dash dash all. And now that the installation is complete, our web application is running on the internet computer and we can go ahead and open it up inside our web browser. We can see the web application is now running in my web browser and it's prompting me for my name, which I'll type in as Enzo. Okay. And as expected, the application is just simply greeting me with my name. Thanks so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Later on in the series, we're going to see some more complex types of web applications being built and run in your web browser, including a gaming engine called Reversi, which is a really fun board game. I hope you guys enjoy that one a lot. Cheers.